I ask for nothing more than you, O God. Grace and peace upon you, brothers and sisters, as we gather once again to seek the Lord's face in prayer. Thank you for joining us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your grace. Psalm 6 How long? I am angry with myself. I feel weak and fearful. I'm beset with conflicts inside and out, paralyzed, shaky, sleepless. How long must I endure this, God? What's the point? Is it a test? Do you care? Are you there? I can never prove you are there. I only know that I feel lighter for having asked. It comes to me what I could do next, that some of my conflicts can be put aside. Then I can face all that I need to do. I'm not so confused anymore. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 42, verses 9 and 10. Everything has happened just as I said it would. Tell the whole world to sing a new song to the Lord. Join in the praise. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. I can't imagine what it would be like for me to be exiled for my sins. But I do know what it feels like to be isolated from God when I am sinful, and also in times when I feel that my burdens are too heavy to carry. My husband and I have been carrying a particular cross for a few years now, and to be honest, we sometimes wonder where God is in all of this. We sometimes feel that our prayers are going unanswered, and sometimes we just feel weary and alone. During times like this, I know that it's the evil one who's trying to make me believe his lies. So I pull up a playlist on my phone and I select one of my favorite songs by Casting Crowns called I Will Praise You in This Storm. It reminds me that I am not alone in wondering where God is and why he hasn't wiped our tears away or stepped in and saved the day. It reminds me that even when the thunder rolls, he whispers through the rain, I am with you. It reminds me that every tear that I've cried, he holds in his hand and that he has never left my side. Whew, I don't know how a song can make me cry and feel better all at the same time, but it does, especially when I sing it and lift my hands in praise to the God who gives and takes away. Carrying our crosses is hard, but it's not in vain. Just like when Jesus carried his cross, it has purpose. My priest recently made a statement that's so simple and yet so profound when you think about it. He said, we can't know Jesus without his cross. And it made me think that we can't truly know Jesus without our cross either. It's only through suffering that we're given an invitation to unite with him, to share in his pain, to grow closer to him. 
and with God's help, our broken pieces can be the source of new life for us. And in turn, our experiences can bring us into a deeper compassion for others who may also be suffering. I don't know what God's plan is for me or for my family. I do know that His thoughts are not my thoughts and His ways are not my ways. Because gracious, things would sure be different if I were making the plans. But we all know that God's plan is much greater for us than our own. We may not know His intentions, but we have faith. St. John Paul II reminds us that as believers, we must be able to discern the signs of divine action, even when they're hidden. He goes on to say that discovering this divine presence with the eyes of faith is a source of hope and confidence, even when our hearts are agitated and shaken. My dear brothers and sisters, we all have crosses to bear, each uniquely different that allow our individual relationships with God to grow. The graces that we receive through our suffering with Him give us different perspectives and have created new works within us, giving us a new and magnified view of our Lord, a new story of praise to share even in the midst of the storm, and a new song to sing. Let us surrender our hearts to God now and pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but But deliver deliver us us from from evil. evil. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in moments of doubt and confusion, when we cannot see or understand the weight of our burdens, grant us the strength to carry our crosses. Let your grace sustain us, and may we find peace in knowing that you walk beside us through every trial. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And together, our prayer of letting go. To you do I belong, O God. Into your hands I surrender my life. Pour out your Spirit upon me, that I may love you perfectly and serve you faithfully until my soul rests in you. Before we go our separate ways, I want to share with you a short little poem that was written by Mother Teresa. It was given to me by someone at the parish mission last night that I'm doing, and it's just lovely. It goes like, it's titled, Love, and it goes like this. Love has a hem to her garment that reaches the very dust. It sweeps the stains from the streets and lanes, and because it can, it must. That is so beautiful. To the one who gave it to me, thank you. And I hope that brightens your day as you go forth in the blessing of God in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Roxy, thank you for that touching and beautiful reminder in your reflection today. Gosh, so wonderful. We are blessed. (laughs) We are so blessed. Folks, God bless you. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. Go in the peace of Jesus, and we will see you tomorrow. Thank you.